I don't believe that all publicity is good publicity in every area of life. But in the case of women's college basketball, that brawl that happened between LSU and South Carolina, it might be one of the best things that ever happened to a sport that's already rocketing into the moon as far as public interest. It's actually insane to think about the fact that we're living in an age where the most compelling college hoopers by far are in the women's game. And I'm not saying that in any sexist way. I'm saying that there's a whole lot of cottage industry built around hyping up young male basketball players because our society is obsessed with finding who's the next chosen one. Now, the women haven't had that. And yet they're still dominating the conversation right now because when it comes to men's basketball, the game's international appeal has led to a large portion of the NBA's best players coming from overseas instead of the college game. And now you have guys like Purdue Zach Eady, who's set to collect his second consecutive Naismith Award, who probably won't even be an NBA lottery pick in 2024. But the best players in the women's college game are going to be your top picks in the WNBA draft. The NBA would absolutely kill to have ready-made stars that the WNBA is about to have. And now you have arguably the two best teams brawling it out on the court. Lord have mercy. Inject this into my veins. Because I can't decide if I want to see LSU and South Carolina meet for the championship or if I want to see Caitlin Clark and Iowa run up against both of those squads. And to Don Staley and Kim Mulkey, two of the absolute greatest characters in all of basketball right now, despite it being the right thing to do, there was no reason to apologize for the basketball watching community for your young lady's emotions. And you could tell that Kim Mulkey, she didn't even mean that apology anyway, saying that she wished Camila Cardozo had actually pushed Andrew Reese instead of 5'10 Flaw J. Johnson. Now, to quote Monique, though, I would like to see it. But to Flaw J's brother, who was not only arrested for jumping the scores table, but also looked scared for his life when he realized just how big Cardozo is. I just hope that he has a comfortable couch because that's where he's going to be watching the games from from now on, buddy. Because whether it's LSU making a deep run or South Carolina or the Iowa Hawkeyes or super freshman Juju Watkins at USC, you know I'm going to be watching and so will you. And I can't wait to see what heroes and villains emerge throughout the rest of the tournament field. Because ESPN, genius move. When they got the tournament rights, it was some Doctor Strange level foresight. And you just know that the WNBA is going to benefit from all this added attention. I'm talking TV rights, league expansion, commercial success for its players. It is all on the horizon. So if you're one of them people that's been too cool to embrace the women's game because you just, I just need my players to dunk. There's still time for you to repent and enjoy the next few weeks with the rest of us.